Welcome back, Ink Chasers, to another story time video. Uh, today's story time is over a player that a lot of you might not have ever heard of. Um, if you had seen this movie, then you know the basic story. This is on Monty Stratton. Um, this was a was this, 1949 movie starring James Stewart that was about Monty Stratton. But I will tell you the same story, just uh, a little different, I guess you could say. <laughs> um, Monty was born uh, May 21st, 1912. Now, some people say he was born in Celeste, some people say Wagner, some people say Greenville. Back in the early 1900s, especially in Texas, there really wasn't a whole lot of city lines and town lines drawn out. So you, you're born in, you know, in a home, not in a hospital type situation where out in the country out there, all these small towns are close together and, you know, they, they get kind of skew as to where it actually was. Um, but all of that is about 45 minutes to an hour depending you know exactly where you're going from where I live so Monty Stratton was kind of like a hometown type hero in in my eyes anyway I grew up hearing stories about him and mostly from my grandmother now more on that in just a moment I will kinda of give you a brief about him um, Monty Stratton um, grew up, like I said, small town Texas, working his way up, playing baseball, you know, playing from little small town to small towns, little Texas League teams, and, um, you know, things like that until being spotted by a scout and put into actual, you know, onto the um, Chicago White Sox. So in 1934, he had made his first um, appearance with the White Sox. He only played one game. Um, let's see. It was, a, I think it was a no decision. It may have even been a relief appearance. I'm not sure. But um, he played another five games in 30, 1935. Um, 1936, you know, he's picking up, playing more and more. He's now, he played 14 games. In 1937 was his best year um that he played, uh, he had a five or sorry a fifteen and five record with a two point four zero ERA and made the uh, All Star team that year. And then nineteen thirty eight, he was uh, he went fifteen and nine, um, had another good season, and then that was it. So his career slowly was going or I guess it was going up and up and getting better and better and he was doing great yet he only played from 1934 to 1938 five years and really only three of those years were complete years the other two years were just partial and kind of like a September call-up type deal so what happened well if you've seen the movie you know what happened during the off season of 1938 he went um hunting and he uh, was out depending on which account you you hear but um, he accidentally shot himself in the leg hitting an artery and having to have his leg amputated um, Monty Stratton never did have any baseball cards during his playing days that I have found if anybody out there sees one has one knows about one let me know because I am in the look for some um, I do have this 1985 big league card of him on the White Sox um, this is a America's national pastime is what it says here on the back I'll flip it over and let you see and feel free to, to pause if you want to look at any of these a little further um, but I also found this, what is this, a 1979, um, 
some kind of a card. I'm not even sure exactly what it is, but I found this online and bought this at one time. It's got a good picture of him there. And it's got a little story about him, a tragic shot. I'll hold that up there for a minute if you want to read it, but I'll read some of this to you. Um, now, according to this, which is different than what's on the movie. So on the movie, he was out hunting, trip fell, had a shotgun, shot his leg, and his dog came back and got his wife, and they went out and rescued him. I don't know if he had Lassie or what on the movie, but... <laughs> Um, this says, uh, Stratton was hunting rabbits on his mother's farm in Greenville, Texas, November 27th, 1938. He was carrying a 22 caliber pistol in a holster and thought the gun had its safety latch on. The safety, however, was not engaged, and when Stratton reached for his pistol, it went off. The bullet severed his large artery behind Stratton's right knee, forcing amputation of his leg. And it says here, um, it was a crazy sort of accident, said Dr. A.R. Thomason, who performed the surgery. Monty couldn't have hit that artery if he aimed at it. Probably would ha wouldn't would happen more than once in a hundred times. So it was just one of those freak accident, quick things that shouldn't have happened, didn't need to happen type things that, you know, he did not pass away or anything like that. He did have his leg amputated and um, he was fixed with a wooden leg. Well, then he then was a coach for the White Sox for the next three years. And as he was coaching, he was still, he was pitching, throwing, you know, getting, trying to get back into things. And although he never did make it back into the majors, he, uh, did play for Texas League teams and minor league teams. And here on this, what is this, 2009 TriStar Obot card, shows him pictured as a, or in his Sherman Twins um, uniform, where he had played, uh, I think this is in the East Texas League. And then also from the same same set, here's a little mini card that I have as well. Like I said, I've never seen any actual cards of him. Um, I I am definitely in look for one. If anybody knows of any, I would be gladly appreciative, or you know, I, I would definitely would like to get some actual cards if he's got any. But I haven't been able to find any. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, he played until. Let's see, he played another. Oh, I lost my place, sorry. Yeah, it looks like he just he played another four or five years after that in the uh, in the Texas League with a wooden leg, which at the time was the only person to have ever done anything like that. I know there's uh, been several other players recently that's played with you know different disabilities, but um, you know this was kind of one of the uh, the original first time type things. So. One of the reasons that this story really hits home with me is that later in his life, um, Monty did pass away in 1982, but obviously before that, um, he was in the hospital in Greenville, Texas, and my grandmother was a nurse there, and my grandmother was one of his nurses, and he had told her stories and baseball stories and things about it and then so I grew up hearing those stories from her and it's just uh, the the whole story is just one of those great inspiring type stories where no matter what happens you can always work to try and 
to make your dreams. Now, like I said, he never did make it back to the majors, but he was able to get back into professional baseball at some point and, um, you know, keep playing and doing what he loved. Um, so in closing of this uh, little story time, I will leave you with a autograph of Monty Stratton. This is a PSA. You see all of, you can oh, do it this way. You can see a PSA certified autograph. And it's on a, sorry for all the glare. I'm trying to, there we go. I'm trying to get it to where you can see it. So this is, uh, this is my Monty Stratton story. As always, like, comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching.